Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about why computers slow down over time and how to fix it with these top 5 fixes. Myself Mohammed Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, no matter what type of computer you own, laptop, PC, Mac, etc., it is bound to observe and face the gradual decline in terms of the performance over time. Your computer can compute hundreds of thousands of calculations in a matter of few seconds, allow you to check the system alerts, social media notifications, edit photos and videos, play video games at the same time. It all can happen because your computer performs many calculation and operation at the back end. And it happens so fast that we do not even realize that how much complex algorithm it is running at the back end. Well, with the passage of time, computers keep on losing the power of computing all the operations and calculations gradually and its performance slows down. All the hardware and software resources in your computer ensures to perform at optimal level and offer you the fast performance. But as your system gets old, it gets blotted with files, software, application, and huge number of extra things that they start to be a burden on your system resources and eventually forcing your system not to perform at optimal level. Other than that, with time passing by, your system hardware resources gets obsolete and they get aged and because of that, your system performance gets declined as well. Other than that, there can be a hardware requirement that can make your system older. For example, no matter how sophisticated and polished hardware resources you have in your computer, who would have thought that operating system with hundreds of gigabytes of RAMs and SSDs would still not be enough to run Windows 11 as they do not have TPM 2.0. So you can say that the PC that does not contain the TPM version 2.0 are older as compared to those having TPM 2.0. So here in this case, only one small hardware requirement made your system older as compared to those that have TPM 2.0. But in terms of other hardware resources, you can have more hardware resources than anyone out there. But still, it made your system to look older. So in short, software requirements and their upgradation is one of the requirements that our computer gets old by the time as they fail to comprehend with the latest update and Windows 11 is example in front of us. And this is not the only reason, there are many other factors as well. Now let's talk about some of the factors and the solutions. Number one is extra data. Well, having huge amount of data stored in our system is not good thing for our computers because the more data we have on our system, the more resources our computer will consume to perform a calculation or to perform an operation. Not only that, our hard drive gets blotted and it increases its chances to slow down and perform slow. So more data gets stored on the disk, the more processing power gets pitted through which our computer has to retrieve the useful information for us. So it is always a better thing to delete all the extra data from our computer to keep the hardware fresh. And if the data is very important, we can always opt for external hard drive or we can use the online repositories as well. For example, we have Google Drive, OneDrive, we have Mega and we have many third party repositories that we can use online. On number two, we have unnecessary software. Well, just like having extra data can force your system to slow down, having unnecessary and obsolete software can also force your system to slow down because most of the time, we require a software only for a specific task and for that we often download and install it on the system and then forget to remove it from the computer. And some software keeps on running in the background without you knowing. Because of that, such software keeps on consuming system resources and eventually result in the slow performance of the system. So what can you do? Well, you can remove all those softwares that you do not use anymore. For example, you downloaded a picture cropping software and now you do not use it anymore. So just uninstall it from your computer or in case if there are certain softwares that you do not use regularly but you cannot uninstall them as well because you use them now and then. 
For such softwares, make sure that their services do not run in the background on their own. Also, make sure to check the startup applications to see if there are any unnecessary softwares or applications that run with the system boot up. Other than uninstalling the softwares and stopping their services to run in the background, there is one more thing that you can do. You can use the online applications for your tasks. For example, instead of installing the picture cropping software on your system, you can use the web apps. Same goes for Microsoft Word as you can use it online. And there are many other softwares and applications that are available as web applications. On number three, we have system updates. While well, sometimes you might have noticed that when you click on a simple file, your system takes some time to open that particular file. Or you might have also seen a loading icon occurs on the screen and eventually your system goes into not responding mode. Well, sometimes all of this can be because of uninstalled updates in your system. Official updates are released in order for your system to perform at optimal level. So make sure to install all the available updates as they do not possess the services patches, they also contain the services improvements for your system and eventually it improves the performance of your system. On number 4, we have hardware upgradation. Well, sometimes it's not the whole system that slows you down. In fact, it's a particular hardware resource that forces rest of the system to slow down and because of that, whole system does not perform at the optimal level. So instead of changing the whole system or instead of opting a new system, we should find out a real culprit behind. For example, when you have unnecessary data on your system, it slows down your whole computer. There might be a chance that it can be because of the hard drive itself and not the data that your system starts to perform slow. In such cases, we can opt to change the hard disk drive and go for SSDs that are much faster in terms of working and performing at the highest level. So changing only the hard disk can increase the system performance. And other case can be related to your RAM. As system supports multiple gigabytes of RAM, it can be possible that amount of RAM is not enough in your system for the operations you want to perform on your system or on the amount of data you have. In that case, you can increase the amount of RAM to improve the performance of your system. So hardware upgradation can be one of the solutions that you can apply in order to have optimal performance from your computer. Number five, malware and temporary data. Well, if you are on the internet, most of the time you use the system, there are very high chances that you will get malware eventually in the system. Not all the malware are designed to harm you in terms of hacking your financial information or stealing your personal data. Some of the malwares are designed to record your system logs or record the logs of some specific applications in your system. Such malware also forces your system to slow down over the period of time. In that case, it is always better to install a well-sophisticated antivirus or anti-malware tool in your system to protect your system from such viruses and malwares. Other than the malwares and viruses, there are other scenarios as well that generate the temporary files in your system. And eventually, your system ends up having a lot of unnoticed data and it results in slow performance of the system. For example, when you download some files from the internet, some unnecessary or temporary files also gets downloaded and they reside in a directory that is called as temp in your system. So in such cases, make sure to delete all the temporary files from your computer from time to time to keep your system free from temporary files and to keep your system fresh. So these are five different solutions that you can apply in order to make sure that your system does not get older or it perform at the optimal level. There are some other issues that are temporary. For example, your browser can cause your system to slow down. For example, let's say you have multiple tabs open in your web browser and web browser are such applications that consume a lot of hardware resources from your computer. Other than that, your browser also contains a cache and when your cache gets blotted up, it also slows down your system. So make sure to keep your browsers fresh by deleting their caches and keeping their tabs closed whenever you are not using them. Another case can be corrupt programs. Well, let's say you have installed a software in your system and because of any reason it got corrupted and 
because of that it is forcing your system to slow down or it is forcing your other applications not to work properly so make sure to find out such programs and to uninstall them time to time another reason can be multiple applications running in your system so more number of applications you run in your operating systems or if i say in your computers the more hardware resources your system needs as i have mentioned earlier that when you are using your windows operating system along with your linux distributions obviously it will require to have more hardware resources to make sure that both of your operating system works same goes for your application for example you are using microsoft word you are using google chrome you have vlc media player running in the background then you are using some picture editing tool and you have some other software running at the same time so eventually the resources that you have in your hardware will be divided among all the applications that are running and eventually it will force your system to slow down because there might be a chance that the hardware resources that you have are not enough to comprehend all the applications at the same time so these are some of the reasons that why your system slows down or why your system gets older over the time and we have also talked about some of the solutions that we can apply so i hope now that you must have liked watching this video if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon and if you have anything to ask please leave a comment below we'll get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care